Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Those of you who have been following this channel for a while now will know that I love collecting hockey cards. From the NHL to the Elite Ice Hockey League, I love me some hockey collectibles, despite them being almost impossible to obtain in nearly all UK stores. Now, it was my birthday recently, and I decided that I wanted to treat myself to some autograph and jersey cards from the NHL, and add some of the best players either in the game today or who have ever played to my collection. So I went on check out my cards, spent more than I'm willing to admit in this video, and picked up some really nice cards that I'd like to show to you today. So let's take a look at what I bought, shall we? So the first card I want to look at is, boom, this one. Yes, the star rookie of the Peterborough Peets, Liam Kirk. This is from Upper Deck's 1819 CHL collection. And for those of you who don't know why I've got this card, Liam Kirk is the first British born and British trained hockey player to be drafted into the NHL. We've had other British born players be drafted into the NHL, but they've played junior hockey in Canada before being drafted. Liam Kirk is the first player to have spent his entire hockey career in England before being drafted. Uh, before he was drafted with the 189th overall pick, I believe, by the Arizona Coyotes back in 2018, he had been with the British Elite Ice Hockey League with the Sheffield Steelers. So he's been a really strong up-and-coming player for us. He's probably our brightest young player in English hockey at the moment. All British hockey fans are really happy to see him doing really well with the Peterborough Peeps. So let's just take a look at the back of this card, and it should explain a few things. There you go. So it's got its height, weight, shoots, where he's born, all of that stuff. But Kirk, the Arizona Coyotes, 189th overall pick. I got it right. Yes. At the 2018 NHL Draft, racked up 16 points, 9 goals, and 7 assists, for in 52 games, playing in Great Britain's Elite Ice Hockey League in the 17-18 season. Modest as that may seem, it is the third most ever for a player 19 or younger in the league's history. Then he went on to be drafted in the import draft of the CHL, and he was the ninth overall pick in that import draft, so he's a good up-and-coming young player. Uh, I'm a big fan of his, we talk about him on my podcast every week all the time. He's a solid young player. So I didn't want to stop at just getting the basic one, I thought I had to pick up a few more Liam Kirk cards, you know. So I got the base version, I also got the foil version of the card. I also got the Upper Deck exclusive serial numbered card, and I thought I'd get an autograph card just for good measure, you know? So four different types of this card, very happy with all four of them. There you go. Don't they all look lovely? They're going to make lovely additions to my collection, but I'm very happy with these. So we'll move on from Liam Kirk and from Junior Hockey, the Ontario Hockey League. Let's move on to some players that actually have or did make it to the NHL at one point, and we will start with this one. Yes, Nigel Dawes. So... For those of you who don't know, Nigel Dawes, I've been doing a lot of research on him recently when I've been making, for example, my KHL contracts video. I've always known that he played for the Rangers, he was drafted by the Rangers, and I figured since he's been such a force in the KHL, which I also like to follow, I thought I'd get an autograph and jersey card from him. One, because they're not that expensive, because he's not in the NHL anymore, and two, because I quite like Nigel Dawes, he's been a solid player, he's carved himself out a really impressive career in the KHL, so I got a piece with a bit of an away jersey, a bit of a home jersey, and his autograph. So if we look at the other side, uh, it says, A two-time first all-star team selection in the WHL. Dawes is a tireless worker around the crease and a natural goal scorer. And then it has all the usual, Congratulations, you've got some memorabilia, aren't you great? So I think it's quite a nice card. Sure, I didn't really get it for the fact that he was with the Rangers. I've got a lot of Rangers cards, as you will see in this collection as we go along. But... I really like it. I think it's a nice card. It wasn't that expensive considering he's not in the league or with the team anymore. But yeah, I thought it was a really nice card. I really like the signature on it. It's quite a big signature compared to the Liam Kirk signature, for example. If you see this signature here, it's tiny. Maybe Kirk needs to learn how to do some bigger, grander signatures, but Nigel Dawes had that locked down immediately, so fair play to him. So that's the Nigel Dawes card I got. It wasn't too expensive, but I quite liked it. Then we move on to the magic man, Pavel Datsuk. Yes, the long-time Red Wings forward now in the KHL. At the moment with Avto Mobilist, spent a lot of time with SK St. Petersburg. I didn't stop at just one jersey card with Pavel Datsuk. I had to get another one. There are a couple relatively cheap uh, when I was getting them. 
I had to get some from Pavel Datsuk. Now, for those of you who don't know, Pavel Datsuk was a really big influence for me getting into hockey in the first place. I found some of his highlight clips one day back in like 2010, 2011, and I couldn't stop watching them. I loved watching highlight reels of Pavel Datsuk with his shootout goals and and all of his fantastic moves, basically making uh, defensemen break their ankles or fall over on the ice because his hands and his IQ were just so good. So I got a uh, Black Diamonds jersey card and an SP card, winning material. So both of them on the back pretty much have the whole congratulations. Uh, this one also has the congratulations as well. So nothing too interesting on the back. All of the all of the interesting stuff is on the front. A couple of uh, pieces of jersey there for Pavel Datsuk. So I quite like them. He's a solid player. He's always been a solid player. He's been injured recently, but he's doing quite well so far in the KHL this season. Now let's move on to more of a solid Hall of Fame guy, a guy that's definitely going to make it to the Hall, Yara Mir Yaga. Yes, basically the ageless one. Uh, he's probably going to play until he's about 60 years old, until the skates don't physically fit on his body anymore. Um, I got an Authentic Fabrics back when he was a captain of the New York Rangers. For those of you who don't know, big, big fan of the New York Rangers. You, you could kind of guess with the amount of New York Rangers cards we're going to have in this list. But I figured I'd get one with him as a Ranger. He was the captain of the New York Rangers and had some really successful seasons on Broadway. So I figured I'd get one of these. And on the back, of course, you have the whole congratulations stuff. It's uh, certified as being used in an official NHL game. But you'll notice about quite a lot of these cards, they're not like super grand, really uh, one of a kind, really expensive, really rare cards. I've just got some really nice cards to add to the collection. Some players that I didn't have in the collection already. So, yeah, Yarami Yaga card, of course. I, it took me a little while when I was browsing these cards to realise that the uh, jersey pieces here actually spell AF for Authentic Fabrics. Uh, that's probably a me thing. I'm not quite sure, but still. A nice uh, Yarami Yaga card. The first Yaga card of my collection, or my first memorabilia card. Then we're going to move on to somebody that, for New York Rangers fans, they, they hold a special place in their heart for this guy. And that is Mark Messier with Lord Stanley's Mug. Cup winning goal. So I think this is the first non-upper deck card that we've got here. And this is um, in the game or in the game used. So congratulations, you received a cup winning goal card from Lord Stanley's Mug Series by In The Game Inc. So picked up a few non-upper deck cards, but this is the first one um, that we, we're looking at at the moment. I've got some really nice ones coming up though. So it also gives you a bit of the story as well, which is really nice. On June 14th, 1994, Messier scored a Stanley Cup winning goal for the Rangers on Kirk McLean of the Vancouver Canucks, who Messier, of course, went on to go and play for, at a 13.29 mark of the second period during Game 7 of the Stanley Cup final. New York would win the series four games to three. So Mark Messier scoring the Cup clinching goal there for the New York Rangers. As a long-time New York Rangers fan, I've dug a lot into the history of the Rangers and Mark Messier was an incredible player. I mean, not many players. I'm pretty sure he's the only one that's a captain three different NHL franchises. That being the Oilers when they won their cup in uh, the 1990, I believe it was when they won the cup without Gretzky. Yeah, it would have been 90, wouldn't it? Uh, 1994 winning the cup with the New York Rangers. He then went and captained the Vancouver Canucks, but he didn't win a cup with them. Weren't the best years of his career in Vancouver. Sorry, Vancouver, we gave you a kind of beaten up Messier, but we took him back in the end, so it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. But yeah, really nice cup winning goal card from him there. And to add to my Messier collection, I thought I'd get an SP Locker Room Essential. So it's only got a tiny piece of jersey here, nothing too crazy. But I do quite like the, the, the look of these, you know. I've got an another one of these, which you're going to be excited to see in a minute. My first big one of my collection, if we're talking in terms of player style. But got two different Messier cards with jerseys in them. I I'm a big fan of Marc Messier. Oh, he's the kind of guy that I really would have wished that I'd known about hockey when I was younger. So I could have seen him play. Uh, of course, growing up in the UK, hockey's not a very big thing. So you kind of have to search out yourself. Unless you live in one of the, country uh, one of the cities, I should say, that um, has a hockey rink. Mine doesn't, but... Uh, they're solid cards. Look at them. Marc Messier. Isn't he a beauty? So I got one locker room essential for Marc Messier. The next one that we're going to look at is probably the biggest card that I picked up. And that is the great one, Mr. Wayne Gretzky. So yes, I picked up a Wayne Gretzky locker room essential, locker essential, whatever you want to call it. Of course, the great one, number 99. His cards are so expensive on check out my cards and in any other sort of like eBay or uh, trading card trading place. I mean, I'm not surprised. He's the best player to have ever played the game. So you get a card with Wayne Gretzky on it, the price immediately goes straight up. 
I really wanted to look for like a bigger jersey card, kind of like the cup winning one that I got for Messier or an autograph of Wayne Gretzky. That would have taken me up into the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars immediately. So I thought I'd just go for something subtle, something basic with this locker room essential. It's the first Wayne Gretzky card of my collection. So I'm really happy with it. It was a nice little surprise because because I'm getting them shipped from the US or Canada, they take a couple of weeks to get here, so I forgot half the cards that I picked up in that list. This is one of the cards that I didn't forget that I picked up, and for good reason, it's a Wayne Gretzky card. Uh, once again, it's got the whole congratulations on the back, nothing too crazy. But I do like the look of these Locker Essential cards, That I, I think they look quite nice. Some people may disagree with that, they might not be some people's cup of tea, but I, I like it, I think it's really nice. Now, penultimately, before we finish off this quick video, here. This is the one that I, I sought out immediately when I saw it. These whole quad patch in-game used quad uh, jersey cards. I'm a huge fan of these like combination cards. So we've got Brian Leach, Mark Messier, Mike Richter, and Henrik Lundqvist. So as a New York Rangers fan, it, I, I saw this card and I couldn't pass it up. It wasn't that expensive either, I've got to admit, because the, the actual the actual jersey bits aren't that big. They're, they're kind of like, they're, they're no bigger than a... Uh, a fingerprint size but they are really 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 nice and i love it so it's another in the game used one i think this is my second and last in the game used or third because the uh, big cup winning one from messier was one as well it's a quad franchise card uh, on the front of this card are pieces from a game used brian leach messier so they're all game used which is really nice which i'm never going to complain about at all i there's something about these like multiple jerseys on one card from different players it, i'm i'm a big fan of them that I, I can understand why not everybody would like them, especially because the jersey pieces are so small, but I really like it, especially because I don't have many jersey pieces from guys like Richter or Leach or Messier or Lundqvist. This is the first jersey piece that I've got of three of those guys. Uh, Messier, the only reason it's not the first one of his is because I've got several other ones in this collection that you've just seen. So I'm, I'm a really big fan of this card. There was another card that I saw that had um, loads of different captains of the Rangers. It had Esposito, it had Leach, it had um, Messier, and it had uh, Yaga, I believe. And I, that was the one that I originally saw that I was like, oh, I really want this card. It looks really nice. But it was a lot more expensive than this one. And plus, this one holds a lot more history in terms of New York. Like Richter, Leach, Messier, Lundqvist, they've all spent very large chunks of time, if not their entire careers with the New York Rangers organization. Whereas guys like Esposito spent a lot of time in Boston before being traded over. Yaga, of course, has bounced between about a million different teams. So I really like this card. This is probably like, if I had to pick a favorite out of the entire list, it would be this one. And of course, I got the Gretzky card. I got the, the, the Messier cards and I got the Liam Kirk autograph card, which is really nice. But I think just the, just the fandom that I have, this is the card that I think I would really like out of all of them. And then last, but certainly not least, we have another sort of quad patch. This is actually a six times patch one. Here we go. Six jerseys from the 2016, 2016, yeah, 2016 NHL All-Star Skills Competition. Here you go. So we've got one from Johnny Gaudreau when he's still with the Flames. Taylor Hall when he was with the Oilers before being traded, obviously. Corey Perry before his contract was bought out. Joe Pavelski before he also joined the Stars with Corey Perry. John Scott of the Arizona Coyotes, then with the Montreal Canadiens organization, and Daniel Sedin of the Vancouver Canucks. Now, I've got to admit, the main reason I bought this card was for John Scott's jersey. You look at all of the different players on this list, you've got Johnny Hockey, Taylor Hall, Corey Perry, Stanley Cup champion, Joe Pavelski, one of the best hand-eye coordination, good tipping guys, uh, Daniel S Sedin, one of the, the best Swedish players to ever play. I got it for the enforcer, guys. I got it for John Scott. I started looking at cards to buy myself for my birthday, roughly when I put out that video about John Scott being the all-star MVP. And I looked on Check Out My Cards, and they didn't have many individual John Scott cards that had autographs or jerseys. I don't think I can remember many of them. And I thought, well, the video is all about him being at the all-star game. Let's get an all-star game one. So I managed to get a really tiny patch. It's really small if you look at it. It's like absolutely tiny. But I thought I'd pick one up of John Scott. And it, I think it was really awesome that I got all the other players along with it. This one was like 10 bucks. It really wasn't that expensive because the jersey sizes are absolutely tiny. But it's more of the history behind it. It's more of the what actually happened at that All-Star game. The, the, one in the, mid, the one in the bottom left that nobody really thought should be there. Managed to become All-Star MVP. And 
looked really looked really solid out there in the All Star game, and he gets a piece of his jersey up there. Now, interestingly, I believe all of them except for John Scotts here are from their actual like NHL franchise jerseys, whereas John Scotts is from the All Star game jersey, if I remember correctly, or it might be from one when he was with the Coyotes. But I just love this card. I think it's a really nice card. I, I think it's also awesome to have like six different All Stars on one card with a tiny piece of jersey. But to add John Scott to the list, that was the deal breaker for me. Getting John Scott in this was the deal breaker. So that is the final card of this collection. I'll just show you a lovely little, uh, lovely little look at quite a few of the cards. I'm quite zoomed in with my webcam at the moment, but I'll stick a few of them on there. You might like it. You might enjoy it. You might not. Who? I don't know. They're, they're hockey cards. They're nice. I, I love them. So yeah. So that was a look at my recent check out my cards haul uh, of some really awesome NHL cards, specifically. New York Rangers cards, John Scott, Yaramir Yaga, Wayne Gretzky. So that was a look at all of them. Uh, what did you guys think about this type of video? Do you want to see me looking at more hockey cards that I've bought? I recently got a load from the Upper Deck E-Pack. I got like 100 cards from there. More of like low-key ones, but there's some, there's some decent ones in there. Uh, if you want to see more, then feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, apologies if I sounded a little bit different in this video. I've been struggling with a bit of a cold the last week or so, but I'm soldiering through for you guys. I'm a real professional, you know. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Adam Budzizuski, Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Jordan Whitehead, Max Artis, Nat Marlow, and Paul Malia as well as a huge thank you to The Legacy for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further, and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.